Welcome back to the recovery shots to beat the bay. We are now on hole nine with Sam. Sam, your tee shot found the left rough right here, and uh, your shot's kind of blocked by the mountain on the left and back pin. Yeah, so we're going to imagine for this particular shot, the flag's back left. So uh, not that bad a tee shot. I'm on a flat lie, but I've obviously got the bushes here to contend with. So first thing I'm going to do is once I've got my ball, I'm going to take a little walk to the right. I'm going to try and imagine where that flag is. And I'm going to pick a spot in the hill so that I've got an actual fixed point. When I walk back to my ball, I'm going to keep focusing on that particular point rather than just walking back aimlessly. And then the only thing I really need to do here is select the club wisely. So I've got about 110 yards, so it's going to be my 54. I just need to make sure I get enough height here to get over that tree for that back left flag. So when I come in to play this shot, again, I'm still focused on that particular point. I need just a good strike, committed swing, and I'm just going to maybe angle myself slightly back just to help promote a slightly higher launch. Will you try to hook the ball a little bit too? Not really. I'm going to... From here, I've got enough club to get over um, that tree, so I don't need to take, play any particular shape, just a nice straight shot. And there is a, back, uh, a bank there, back left, that the balls will feed down in case it does go a little left here as well. So right. hopefully a fairly simple shot, but you've got to just commit to it. Let's commit take a to look. the line. So I'm going to go just over the, this uh, branchy tree here, just over the right side of that. And just angle back slightly, normal ball position. I've picked it up nice, that ball's gone nice and high. And blind shot, but hopefully it's somewhere down there. We're now on the right hand side of hole 9 fairway. Uh, ball actually hit the fairway and bounced into the rough. Kingsley, unlucky tee shot. Yeah, not a nice spot here. I don't like ball below the feet, especially uh, this is a, a pretty big slope here. Um, not just ball below the feet, but actually a little bit of an upslope yeah. as well. Can so you see the flat from here? I can't see the flag from here. So even with the height, even with my height, I can't see. So I would walk up right up to this bunker, get a uh, get a visual of where I need to go, try and maybe pick a spot in the face of the bunker. So I've got a target um, off the upslope. I'm going to take an extra club uh, and then given I'm on such a big slope here, especially for me, I don't like ball below the feet at all. I probably wouldn't make more than about a three quarter swing here. So I'm gonna take another club on top of that. So for me, two extra clubs uh, and then factor in the wind. But for now we'll do two extra clubs. So we're about 125. I'm actually gonna take an eight iron, which is quite a lot for me. Yep. Getting into the ball, uh, ball position I'm not gonna change too much, but I am gonna get quite a lot wider in the feet trying to get down to this ball. I do feel like I'm a little bit on my right side with that upslope as well. Um, again, trying to keep the balance really important in these shots. So, because I am that way a little bit, I might just feel like I sit back just a tiny bit. So it's I'll... a bit on the upslope and also a li little bit ball below. Yeah, so it's exactly. a combination, and you need to really think about the direction sure. quite a bit. Right? Keeping the balance really important if we're going to, you know, get a good strike there. So I shuffle my feet around until I feel balanced and comfortable. I'm down to that ball, and then just try to keep the tempo. A little three quarter swing. See if we can get it up there. I'll take that. That should be on the green. We'll go and check if the distance is right. Cool. Okay, so we are up uh, just short left of the ninth green. We've got our uh, cone up there right up on the front of the green. Uh, what we're going to do here, we're going to actually have a little chipping comp, the three of us. Uh, we've all got some different clubs here. Eric's got a putter, Sam's got a hybrid, I've got a five iron. None of us have chose a lofted club. We're looking to roll it up the hill here uh, and see who can get nearest to the pin. So let's have a little go. So as I said, I chose five iron. I like to grip way down on this and get the shaft up just a little taller, a bit like a putter in a way. A uh, Couple of little practice swings. I've got a bit of weight on the left. Fairly short, quick swing. We want that ball coming off the face to get off that hill uh, pretty quickly. All right, let's have a go. Oh, that's close. That's not, oh, it's going to hit. Oh, oh. that's going to be hard to beat for the boys. <laughs> Eric, right, good luck with my that. My turn. I'm choosing putter because basically uh, there's no rough here whatsoever just fairway but what i need to do is just uh picking the right spot to start the ball because i need to look at the slope 
in front of the green as well. So I'll be picking a spot slightly left of the cone. All right, big putting stroke. Make sure I get it up there. Bad. Oh, a little bit, little bit short. shorter. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> okay, then I've selected uh, my hybrid. I feel for me personally that I'd have to make a big or too big a stroke or too quick to use the putter. And I quite like the hybrid because the way it sits onto the ground, there's going to be no uh, interaction or with the heel digging in. I can just have a nice smooth bottom there with that shot. But this one takes a bit of practice. I think you need to, it's not something you do first time out. If you've had a little go on the chipping green, you just get used to the speed that, that ball comes off the club face at. But again, more of a putting stroke, similar line to Eric's and hopefully Kingsley's. All right, just a tiny bit short. I guess that's mine. All right, <laughs> All right well done, Kingsley. Nice. That a you gimme. won the contest, and uh, Sam, I think, drinks on you. But uh, actually, all three shots are not that bad because uh, from that lie, we didn't pick the uh, most of the clubs, and uh, it's a very sensible shot, I would say. Yeah, you take out that uh, possibility of having to play a second one from down there. But definitely anything running up that hill is going to be better. Obviously, this one is the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us at the recovery shots to beat the bay. See you next time on Ho Ten.